Ooh, what is up guys? And of course, as always, really welcome back to another Velda Pokemon League battle. This time we're actually going to look upon a few old battles that's been going down. A few interesting ones at that. Uh, first one is being actually Slow Formula versus Omega Jolteon. Um, these two teams have been very, very interesting throughout the season already. But this is actually week two and I really think that both got really defined and just a really close game overall. Um, Greg's team here is as followed, um, Nidoqueen, Alakazam, Mantine, Clefable, Durant, and of course Sharpedo, which I believe is the mega form from his side. Definitely should be said here that Durant, very underrated in the league concept, and uh, yeah, just overall, wow, glad to see it here. And then we have of course on my opponent's side here, my opponent, my, <laughs> um, what did you say? The opponent's side, but really they're both opponents to me anyway. But we have Guard of War here with Zapdos, Psygod, Lucario. Uh, Seismitoad and Meanwhile. So this is a very, very strong offensive core here. Uh, a few defensive responses in Saptos and Seismitoad, but overall it seems to be heavily focused to be offensive. So really, with all this in mind, let's, of course, watch this match. Um, I'm doing this like live recordish. While I do know how the game ends, it definitely should be stated here that even if I do that, uh, I don't know how they got there. So anyway, Greg is going to lead off with Big Mama being near the Queen, so that's, that's going to be good. As we see Melia from Omega's side, and that is the God of War. So, um, Psychic is a very, very real thing here. As, oh yeah, it's the Mega God of War, my bad. Of course, it was released as this game went on. Hey, how about that? So anyway, God of War, cool. So, question is, does it go for a Psychic? Yes, Psy Shock. That could be a 50-50. That definitely could be a 50-50, as it just barely lives on a Focus Sash. Hey, Nice! So here's the Stealth Rocks, and they are probably, to say, unless Zapdos has Defog. So very, very, very good on... Uh, very good prep, really, on Greg's side, as he's gonna lose the Nidoqueen. Let's hope that sack was worth it. This could be very, very dangerous indeed from the get-go. And this is not too long of a game, I do believe it's a 26 turn battle. As here comes Durant, and you know exactly what happens here. It's definitely um, able to outspeed a uh, Guard of War. So he's, Omega's gonna switch out, go to Brog the Frog, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> nice name. As, um, let's see, Durant goes directly for the Iron Head. This should still do fair, actually. Yeah, it still does. Uh, we see leftovers here. There's really nothing um, that. Um, Greg can do it, could possibly aim for a possible grass knot, but even at that, it would not be worthy towards this Pokemon. So, yeah, he's switching out clearly uh, and goes to Elegasam, which I do believe is not focused after this battle. Then, as we see, Stealth Rock, so Stealth Rock are on both sides of the battle right now. So, all right, let the residual hazard damage begin. As um, I'm pretty sure this could be a life orb variant of Elegasam, as he's gonna switch out to Frog clearly. And uh, let's see, A A S S. All right, so Miwal hits the field. So wondering if he predicted the psychic. Um, here comes the energy ball, at least. So that's gonna still do a big chunk of damage, um, almost killing actually. And Miwal, I do believe, outspeed it with five base speed. So it, that's definitely enough. Uh, as probably a pursuit trap there would have been really nice. As uh, Lady in Pink comes, beat up. All right. So break potential sashes. So that's a five hits, I believe. A very, very obscured and weird set there, but definitely not. It, it's not a bad idea versus an Elika Sam that could have had focus sash. So with that in mind, I think that's really cool. Uh, though I stated, I do believe pursuit would have been the stronger play there, um, mainly because it does the damage, and I feel it was very unlikely that he was sash. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I could definitely be wrong. It would see protect. Um, what is possible? Oh, we have C-Move. We have a corkscrew drive C-Move. Hmm. I'm drinking coffee while I'm recording this, by the way. I hope that doesn't bore anyone. And if it does, hey, too bad for you. Um, really cool prep, though. Uh, I wonder if this is based on Metal Claw. We don't necessarily get to find that out. All we get to see is a Clefable had Protect for a reason. And this definitely does save it quite a lot. Um... Wow, I did not foresee that one coming. Awesome prep on Omega side, and awesome prep on Greg's side too, being able to actually have Protect to capitalize on it. It's an Iron Tail, of course it is, as it's able to soak that hit, and here comes the softball. All right, that's tough. That is actually very tough indeed, 
Um, a very, very good chance of uh, Omega to knock out the Clefable there with, um, with of course, the move there, uh, the Corkscrew Drive. And missing out on that, yeah, that's that's going to hurt in the long run. As he goes for knockoff here, so left over is no longer a factor as I believe he's going to retaliate with the move. It keeps going for softball. All right, so the Clefable is, you know, the, the old fabled fat pink puff and very, very hard to KO as it should be, sadly. And... Um, he does keep going for Iron Tail. He does miss here, and here comes the Moonblast. This is why we don't use Iron Tail. Eventually does miss, but at the same time, it, I do believe it did pressure, did pick the pressure on um, on Greg here, but uh, sadly he wasn't ready. He was definitely ready. So Milia comes in here, so we're trying, trying to spam Hyper Voice, I believe. Get the heavy amount of damage, or Shy Shock even, as uh, Greg is going to switch out, go to Ray Ray. Which is the man time. So Psyshock would have been the better play here. Definitely. Or, or I believe anything is to it kill man time anyway. I don't think it matters even if he comes in freely here. Yeah, 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 the damage is up there. The damage is definitely up there. Very hard switching man time. Anything is hard to switch into this Pokemon primarily because of the heavy amount of damage. There's just nothing soaking this hit. As down goes Ray Ray. So poor man time. You shouldn't. I was feeling a defog roll, possibly. I don't think anybody would actually switch it out. As Yibikure comes in, the Mega Sharpedo. And um, a free speed boost should definitely be helpful here, as it's gonna switch out, actually. Uh, go to THL. Alright, the Zapdos. The Zapdos is still active. As um, Yeah, I wonder what should Greg do from this point. Um, go for a clearly to get the speed boost. Um, I don't know whether or not Crunch is a KO here, or Ice Fangion is a KO. I probably would not have risked that. Definitely need more residual damage there. As Lady in Pink comes back in, or Lady Pink. I'm going to say Lady in Pink, I believe that's that's the, the more nicer name, Greg. Should pull that off. As here comes a U-turn, a very, very good play from Omega. Definitely shifting the momentum back. So whether or not he has a switch for this Pokemon is debatable. It's still going to be the Mega Guard War, which... Um, I mean, it puts the pressure on the team. It definitely put the pressure on the team. Greg really don't have that many switches. As Hyper Voice can, of course, connect. And, uh, yeah, it's a 50% hit, at least. More like 60 as Moonblast comes through. Um, here's the thing with Greg, though. I don't believe Greg has any switching, but we see the special attack drop here. It is not enough, though, to save... Um, to save the Clefable. It definitely is not enough to save the Clefable, but still, a special attack drop, yeah, that means... That any next hit might not be as ferocious as Yubikure comes back in. And I wonder whether or not Zapdos are worth it. Because at this time if Zapdos comes in, it is a Pokemon that can't take the hit because of Stealth Rocks. That's right, we see Steel Dewgeal comes in. And we're also going to see the Stealth Rock damage. And like I said, I'm pretty sure Crunch here does KO. So, the Mega Sharpedo might very well be... The last nail in the coffin. This is definitely an opening for Mega Sharpedo. Uh, bit surprised we don't see the speed boost here. Maybe he doesn't need it. We get to find that out very, very, very soon. As directly for the Ice Fang. And uh, yeah, it's a KO. That's, that was a KO. We see Rocky Helmet though. Uh, so not Scarf, which could have been a possibility here. Um, now that's that Billy again comes in. Or Bilagon, I don't know. Uh, extreme speed is a thing here, um, most certainly. As uh, Yubikure goes for the protect, Lucario do not go for sword stance. It would have been really nice, I guess, but no close combat. Hmm. So not extreme speed, then. That means that Yubikure does have speed. Earthquake might not KO. I, I am unsure, actually. It might. Yeah, it, it is. It is. Ooh, not having extreme speed. That is. That is too bad. That is too bad. As the frog, the brog comes in. Probably should have been the switch in from the first time. I don't know how much a crunch will do. But I'm sure as hell he can retaliate and possibly KO or get a skull burn or anything like that. So crunch do not KO. Uh, let's see. Not quite does. <laughs> it actually does not KO. Ooh. The Mega Sharpedo is not something to fall that easy. Um, as it's going to preserve Brog, alright? To going back to the second Milia. 
All right, I see you. Um, I wonder, I can't re recall what the last mon is on um, Omega Psi, but this torpedo really, really put in the works right now. There are very few things that take it on. So let's see, Drake is a mon that has not come out yet, and that is Sidar, or not Sy <laughs> Sy Sygard. Um, this guy should have extreme speed though, right? Please show me. Yes! Great! So right, it's not a complete sweep by Sharpedo, so that's good. That's actually really good. Um, let's see, here comes, of course, the Durant, which still has yet to fall. And, of course, an Iron Head should do a decent amount of damage. Um, it's actually going to switch out. Okay. Go into Brog. I wonder why, really. I really wonder why. Um, or could it be that it's a banded variant of Sai... Saigar. That could be a very real possibility, as we see yet again another corkscrew drive from this time uh, Greg's side and the Durant. And Durant really, really is a primary user of this move, primarily because of Hustle. That extra banded damage is something to not be trifled with, as uh, this would have KO'd his Pokemon anyway. But you know, this is definitely killing it, killing it dead, <laughs> one would say. As, uh, of course, Seismo dies. Bye bye, and the last one is this, of course, side side guard. Now I was, I was so close to say side dosh again. I'm presuming this is banded, which is why I switched it out. So thousand hours would be he has ideal series of plays. Uh, as we see, Honeclaw, really, really, really dangerous. A very great risk actually taken here, but that could definitely pay off. As um, I don't believe a thousand arrow, even if banded, could kill. Yeah, it, it's pretty darn close though. It's pretty darn close as uh, it's gonna retaliate with an iron head. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's not a KO. Hey, how about that? So Thousand Air is gonna connect, gonna KO the Durant. Oh, the Durant did very well here. What a massive threat, really. What a massive threat. As the last Pokemon from Greg's side is, of course, the Alakazam here. And. Um, yeah, there is really nothing to it. Alex like Sam gonna wrap up with the sidekick being a 1 0 favor win for Greg's side versus Omega. Um, my ending thoughts are about this game, and you know, the only thing that I do believe bothered me, and it goes for actually Omega's side here, mainly because I think Omega had a pretty decent opening uh, had Lucario been extreme speed. I really believe Lucario would have put in the works had it been a more flexible set. Uh, the other one being that we don't see Swords as a Meanwhile, that's always something you kind of want to have, uh, or Pursuits. Either way, it's, it's fine. Um, the, the toughest part here was seeing Mega Sharpedo rip apart his team and doing this uh, without really any kind of uh, backlash. I won't say that Omega didn't prep badly, I, I definitely won't say he did that. I think the team is on par. It is the execution here with a few mods that just... just doesn't necessarily help. Uh, he did do well against Greg's team, and I do believe his Mega Guard War and the Psyguard could be very, very ferocious throughout the game. And definitely, he was said Lucario, um, had it been extreme, but I said it before, would have been a much more dangerous threat towards this team because it hits everything really hard. And yeah, I think it was a missed opportunity of using that. My guess is that it was a Scarf variant. And uh, it makes sense for the matchup, but I would definitely prefer the extreme speed due to Mega Sharpedo being one of those Pokemon that can outspeed everything and can hurt everything really hard. Having two Pokemon with extreme speed would be very, very, very interesting for this matchup. So, a bit unfortunate actually, to be completely honest. I do believe Omega had the right, the right mods for the matchup. Greg just had a better execution overall. So, with that said, guys, as always, thank you for, of course, watching. What do you think about that? Blah, this game. And uh, yeah. I'm going to upload more of these matches today, so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Bye, guys.